Anyone who knows me knows I love archery, but I don't love it nearly as much as the woman I'm about to introduce you to. Christy Branham has lived her whole life in Floyd County and has won several IBO world titles. But you'd never know, she picked her first bow up only seven years ago after years of persistence from her husband, Scotty. And it took him until 2012. And he was out practicing um, at our home. And he was, and I went and got, and I said, next time he asked me, I'm going to do this. And he did that day. He just so happened he did that day. And he was like, just try to hit this bell. And I did. And he just kind of looked at me, and an addiction was born at that moment. And calling it an addiction is putting it mildly. My neighbors and new neighbors, and it's so funny, will see me at the grocery store and say, you're that lady that shoots that bow up there all the time, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, that's me. Christy started competing in 2013 and has racked up championships left and right. But 2019 has been her best year ever, shooting in a brand new class. Out of the five national shoots of the IBO this year, I won the first three, which was Winter Nationals, Spring Nationals, and the first leg of the Triple Crown. You know, you set goals, or I do, I'm that person. And my goal this year, just in this first time being in FBR, was I want Shooter of the Year. I want that. IBO World Championships were at the beginning of August, and just days before she left, Christy Branham had the best and worst streak of luck an archer can have. I was at five arrows because I would busted knocks and, and things like that. And we were waiting on the equipment to come. Uh, we'd ordered it and was at home practicing. And, and I busted, just Robin Hooded the crap out of it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm down to three arrows. Because it's, it's like, you're happy that you did it, but then you're like, realization, I'm down to three arrows and worlds in three days. Two evenings later, the husband meets me here and, and I'm looking at everything and making sure that I, it's where I want it. And we're down here on target and I shot and he said, okay, hit the same place again because I was having sight issues. I felt like my sights were off. Mm -hmm. And uh, just as soon as I did, and you hear that pop. And he was like, you did it again. And I was like, you're kidding me. So I literally left here going to a world tournament with one arrow. Thanks to her East Kentucky archery family, she got her new arrows just in time. At the end of day one, she was in fifth place and climbed to third place at the end of day two. Because then you realize, I can do this. I am as good as these ladies, and they are fierce. <laughs> they are very fierce when they come. So the end of the 10 shots, nerves got me the first couple shots. It cost me some points. So I finished second in IBO Worlds this year. But you got Shooter of the Year. I did get Shooter of the Year, and I, oh, cannot tell you the thrill of that because once you and everybody knows once you set a go and you feel like it's unreachable and you it's there and it's yours and it's like I did this I am I'm, I'm as good as they are. Christy spends every minute she can promoting archery to women and kids hoping that they don't wait as long as she did to let that first arrow fly. Find that natural seat in your hand. Oh, I was in my 30s before I ever picked a bow up for the first time. So you're, it's never too late and it's never too early. So anybody that wants to just be out, and I love outside, that's where I wanna be. But contrary to popular belief, you don't have to be a hunter to enjoy shooting a bow. My husband's a hunter and that's wonderful. I have never drawn my bow back on a live animal. I shoot foam all day long, and I'm happy with that. I, I'm, I'm happy with the foam. So no, you don't have to be a hunter. Christy says it's funny how something that can so easily trigger a temper tantrum can also be the best kind of therapy. It's something that relaxes me. A lot of people, they, they golf or, or they'll horseback ride or they'll fish. Well, this is my relaxation. This is what I do to to kind of calm the day or clear my head when something's weighing heavy on me, I can go out and shoot a few arrows and 
it's, it's better.